courage, tolerance, love, and peace. These are the values and building blocks of peace. It is important that the young generations of the world are inspired to work for peace. And I hope you will reflect on these values as you conduct your work here in the next few days. At the Desmond Tutu Peace Center, we're working to preserve the legacy of Archbishop Desmond Tutu and to enable sustainable world peace through tangible programs. We're aiming to develop a center that will be a permanent home for his vision and serve as a global indaba for peace. Building this center is building a future where the young will understand. The marginalized will have a voice and leaders will be given an opportunity to reflect, engage, and act. In the coming months, we will be calling on you to act, to make your pledges for peace, to inspire your peers, and to be part of this global proactive peace movement. In my language, we say, umtu, gumtu, gabantu. A person is a person through other people. I am because you are. You are because I am. Thank you. So, can you please welcome the obvious inspiration for the 2-2 Peace Centre. Give, if you've applauded him before, I want it louder now. Archbishop Desmond Tutu. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, my friend. Do you want to take a seat? Do you want to take a seat? How are you? It's better than mine. Nafidu, I'm just going to ask you one question. Um, you. What exactly, what exact role um, do you see the centre playing in creating, uh, its role in, in creating sustainable um, world peace? Yes. Thank you very much for that question. I'm very excited actually to be here because I'm beginning to see some of the seeds that will be part of what we'll be creating. I've talked about the values that will contextualise under the world peace. And I think one of the most important thing is that under our Schools for Peace program, we'll be assisting learners and teachers and kids to be able to use those values as tools that they can actually, when I talk about tangible you know, tools, I'm talking about something that can be harnessed, something that can be used. So that's what we will be doing in terms of inspiring the young generation to work for peace. We we'll also talk about creating platforms for the marginalized to be heard. We had a fascinating discussion with women of Africa, where we said women of Africa are discussing peace. What is the role of women within peace building? And I think that's very important. I've also been involved in facilitating mutual acknowledgement workshops with Israelis and Palestinians, and that is key and critical in our peace building. And I think you've known about the whole thing about xenophobia in South Africa. We need to create a space where people can talk about what bothers them so that we don't go and kill each other. So that's very important. Thank you very much. And most importantly, yep. the leadership question. Thank you. Do you want to take a seat? Because I'm going to address one. Don't look at me with such shock. <laughs> um, to Archbishop Desmond Tutu. You've seen sport divide your country, you've seen sport bring your country together. Um, what role can you see sport playing within, com this is a sports panel, you, you knew I was gonna ask you this. Um, and what role do you see sport playing? And also, what are your memories of that moment in 1995 
when you saw your friend Nelson Mandela wearing the Springbok jersey, Francois Pienaar raising the trophy, what, what were your memories then? And how does that fit in to your, the Peace Centre? Well, I was going to say to you, go and see Invictus. <laughs> <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, sport is not just sport. You know, it has an incredible, potent quality. I mean, if you had told me before 1995 that people in the black townships in Soweto were going to be dancing in the streets for a Springbok rugby victory, I would say, oi, man, you, <laughs> you, you need to go and have your head uh, red. Uh, because that, that sports victory did more for reconciliation uh, in our country than all of my sermons for a whole year uh, <laughs> would have achieved. Uh, and and we, we were very blessed that we should have had someone like uh, Nelson Mandela who has a flair. You know, I mean, there are not too many heads of state who can wear a, 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 a rugby jersey and, and do it with such panache, I mean, and, <laughs> uh, and it was a fantastic moment when he stepped onto the turf and most of the, 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 the spectators were there were Afrikaners, white, who had been made to believe this guy is a terrorist. Uh, and on that occasion, they just went berserk. I mean, when he <laughs> got onto the, onto the pitch, uh, they were yelling their heads off, Nelson, Nelson, Nelson. Uh, and it was an electric moment. Of course, we, we've repeated that, as you know, we beat England. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> 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 um, can we cut Ar Archbishop Tutu's microphone off, please, now? He's getting playful. <laughs> Thank you very much. Now, knowing your love of all sport, um, we've got a little presentation to make to you. Well, not a little presentation. Um, Andy, on behalf of the um, 2018 uh, bid for the World Cup, <laughs> wanted to present you with a small gift um, to celebrate this gathering in London. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, on, on behalf of England, I guess, and the English World Cup, but more important, the English Football Association, David Beckham um, sends his best wishes and something that you can use, hopefully, for value to, that you can help your, uh, your fund and everything. David has donated uh, this shirt, so I'd like to give you that. That's fantastic! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's lovely, thank, thank you. you. I, I, I love the English. <laughs> <laughs> and um, one, one more present. This is like your birthday at the moment. We've just got lots of gifts for you. It's um, Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. <laughs> Thank you um, so much. Clarence um, has a very significant presentation um, to, to make for you now. Um, what we, uh, I think Clarence, you can introduce it and then I'll, I'll follow it up, but you've got a, a small uh, sort of presentation <laughs> to make. Yeah, to yeah. I'm first of all very honored to be able to uh, give this present. It's a special moment for me as a youngster. Um, I've been dreaming about this, so I'll keep on dreaming. <laughs> Dream can come true. This is my, my personal shirt um, that I signed for you. Oh. Um, and. I wrote on, with love, admiration, and respect from Clarence Seedorf to Archbishop Desmond Tutu, your legacy will stay alive forever. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But the most I'm important, the most, this is not so important. This is more important. <laughs> We 
we're going to actually maybe see him kick a ball. I don't know, but <laughs> look at that. These, I mean, uh, <laughs> specially made, specially made. I think the color is quite familiar to you. <laughs> very Episcopal. This is this is for you, sir. This is for uh, you. Oh, <laughs> thank you. This is for you. <laughs> <laughs> now, <laughs> you want some help? Yeah, this, maybe you can open it a little bit there. I'm, did we get the right size? <laughs> ah, it's a pair of ladies, I'm a little worried. <laughs> <laughs> Let me help you there. <laughs> I had no idea this okay. was going to happen. <laughs> yeah, there's one. Do they fit? Have we got a ball anywhere? Have we got a ball? <laughs> Yes, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> it's in, <him>. right? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, amazing moment. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's a pleasure. <laughs> Thank you. Um, we understand that you're not going to be able to walk around in those, despite you're obviously looking pretty comfortable on the ball. Um, so we've got you some trainers the same colour as well. And what we, hope, what we hope is whenever you see these trainers or some purple trainers, you make sure you make a donation to the Peace Centre as well. And if you see those boots, double the donation that you make. Um, remarkable. Thank you very much. Um, everyone involved in that. Thank you. Uh, These are the sneakers. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm just going to wrap up. Get the sneakers uh, here. Yes, yeah, here we go. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Thank you. Yes. This has turned into a shoe okay. shop. It's, it's, it's amazing. <laughs> well done. Oh, that's lovely. Um, okay, so just to um, Thank you. to quickly wrap up. No, no, I, you want to wrap up. Said, do you want to speak? No, no, I just wanted to say thank you. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you. Thank you. The, one of the benefits of having a complexion like mine is that when you, when you are blushing, <laughs> nobody notices. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's amazing. Hey. Thank you, well done. Amazing man. Oh, this way, this way, this way. You can. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. Yeah. So, um, if you don't believe sport can change the world, that is a moment I hope you remember for the rest of your life. Um, and please take it away. If you want to know more about the Sport for Change movement, go to beyondsport.org and you can read all about it. Um, I'd like to say a huge thank you again to the panel yeah, um, awesome. and also to Kate and Dave, who's just done an amazing job and also giving sport this type of platform on heavy, weighty issues. Um, we appreciate that thank hugely. You. Thank you, guys. Thank you. And And just um, one final, final, final point, just a very personal one. When you set out on your journey at the end of this event and you were thinking about your leadership or what route you were going to come from, I asked you for one thing. I decided sport was my route. All these people here decided sport was the route for change. And you be specific, carve out your niche and be bloody tenacious. And thank you very much and have a great couple of days. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much indeed. You did a brilliant job. Thank you. Thank you. Wonderful to meet you. Inspiration. Thank you. Thanks very much. Thank you. Great job. So a big round of applause for the, the panel. Thank you very much. If you guys want to.